All right, welcome back to our channel, our year of magical learning uh, podcast, you know, short for YOMO. And we are on uh, episode 88 today. And uh, I think today uh, I, I guess I took a peek at the questions and I think uh, I might like the, the question. So uh, I want uh, maybe let's Chris start off his reflection and we can talk about it. Yeah, this is a, I was just telling you before we started this, this, this is, this is a meandering one, you know, um, uh, okay. uh, it's, it's, it's about balance, you know, it's the, the reflection overall is about balance, but the, the book today, book 88 is a book called rain, a natural and cultural history by Cynthia Barnett. Yes. I read a book about rain. Uh, like, <laughs> and, uh, um, and actually it's funny because I, I started off this, I mean, the, the book is about what you think it's about, you know, it's, it's about the, it's about a natural and cultural history of rain. It's about the importance that rain plays and, you know, and, and, and a balanced ecosystem. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then also, you know, just, just the importance of rain plays in our world. I mean, I never, I never really knew that, you know, I know rain's important, but like, I just had no idea, honestly, until, you know, after going through this book, like just how important rain, lack of rain, too much rain, you know, it's like the perfect mm -hmm. balance of rain, like is, it, it, uh, you know, has, 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 driven a lot of the course of human history of like where we live and where we don't live, you know, and, right. and uh, um, you know, and then also there's a lot of cultural history around rain, you know, it went into things about like raincoats and, you know, uh, other stuff, you know, and like the, the businesses that build. So it's all things rain. All things rain. <laughs> uh, so I, um, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm just a weird person, I guess. For some weird reason, this book piqued my interest when I, when I started it and, or when I decided to start it, but um you know, I'm glad I read it, but it was, it was, uh, it was, it was an interesting, it was an interesting journey for sure. Um, I don't know that I directly learned anything in particular that really stood out to me to apply to my life other than this, this more macro reflection around, uh, I'll share my screen here. It's called, mm -hmm. I, I titled, I titled it, um, uh, too much and, and not enough, you know? Um, right. uh, so it's, it's a more of an homage to, to balance. Um, so I, you know, I kicked off this reflection talking about, similar to what we were just talking about. Like, I can't even believe that I'm reading a book about rain. Um, I mean, I, I love this journey that we're on, right? Like it's, a, uh, I mean, if you would have told me 10 years ago that, that I'd be reading a book about rain, writing a reflection about it for your magical learning project and, uh, uh, you know, doing a podcast recording with you now, whatever else this turns into, I would have been like, you're crazy. Like there's just there's just no way in hell that you could have ever convinced me that this was a path. You know, I'm talking to some guy named True who lives in another state, you know, like we're, we're talking about rain, you know, and how, you know, I mean, it's just like, there's just no way, like I would have believed that, that that was the case. But, you know, for me personally, obviously, as we all know through this journey, losing, losing Amelia really changed everything. And, and now, now here we are, right? So I think that, you know, the biggest lesson that I've learned, and we, we talk about this all the time is like, I don't know anything. Um, I have no idea. Like, you know, and I've stopped trying to figure it out. Like, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why we're talking about this today. I don't know why rain ever came into this, to this orbit, you know, and, and we're having a conversation, but, but here we are. Uh, we, we don't control this thing and life's really hard to predict. And, uh, and I, and I've stopped trying, I'm, honestly, I just, I, I've given up on it. Um, what I, what I try to focus on, oh, sorry. The, what this, what this whole book made me think about is like, wow, I don't know shit and you don't know anything who does know something is this lady named mother nature right you know um god you know for billions of years she's honed this perfect balance of you know when to when to deploy what resources where and to make sure that everything stays in this harmonious state you know uh and it's and it's kind of a, a sight to behold honestly i mean when you really think about like all the little checks and balances that go on that we don't ever see every single day that you know it, we might get a little bit off balance a little bit every once in a while but there's always some way that she rains it all back in you know whether it's pulling pulling rain away from one region and sending it to another global warming the climate patterns change whatever it is like you know I, I mean i don't know man she she uh she knows she knows how to just push the right buttons at the right time you know to slowly make those changes and course correct um unfortunately for us us dumb humans we always think that we know more uh than mother nature and we i feel like you know i'm starting to feel like on this journey that like maybe our purpose is to like push mother nature's buttons a little bit you know because we're like that the, the composers you know the, the the creators and like and we just can't stop ourselves from from always trying to like you know invent some new way to to mess with her and uh to mess with this world and to try to build something up and 
you know, maybe that's like our purpose is to, is to help her hone in her secret ingredient balance, you know, to keep this whole thing in order and to test, uh, test the limits. But I, I don't know, maybe that is, but uh, who knows? Uh, but either way, my particular goal in life these days, while I have no idea how I got here, uh, I mean, my, my personal goal is to try to take the elements of both that I enjoy most, you know, our creativity from our humanity side of everything, our ability to endure, our ability to change and adapt. And then at the same time, you know, learn from nature as well, right? Where like, I don't know anything, have humility, understand that, that there's a whole lot of other dynamics that are going on outside of the, this a whole entire thing. And, and to try to find a balance center, you know, um, where, you know, you're never too much and, and not enough where you're ever in a drought or you're ever in some monsoon and flooded and all this other stuff. So like, that's, um, that's, that's how I'm trying to live my life these days. And that's why balance is so important for me. And I'm, I have a feeling you have a similar sentiment because I know that this is important for you as well, but um, yeah, that was, that was the, the random reflection that, that, that rain made me think about, I guess, after I, after I read this book. So uh, the question that I asked at the end was, you know, what areas of your life can you stop trying to control and start accepting nature a little bit more? Um, you know, cause, uh, cause we have that, um, we have that fatal flaw, you know, <laughs> where we feel like we can control everything, you know? Uh, so yeah, I'd love to get your thoughts. So I, I guess I can go with another random thoughts. Um, you know, from hearing you saying all these things about, you know, we're trying to uh, test mother nature and put the limits. My, my, my thought, the thing that comes to my, uh, you know, come to my head is that, you know, I think we don't know shit and we're too dumb. We're just trying dumb stuff. I don't right. think we're meant to right. do any of the things that we are presumably, you know, kind of like, Say, hey, I'm supposed to do this, I'm supposed to do that. I don't, I don't think that's the case at all. And uh, <laughs> I just think we are too dumb to know any better and we just do things. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't, uh, you know, you know, mesh, mesh with, uh, with Mother Nature and, you know, you, you, you find out the hard way. And I think, you know, it's a, it's a random thought. Yeah, but I think uh, that's how I see life. Life is essentially, um, you have to know what uh you know like you know the question say what areas of life you can stop trying to control and start accepting nature it's just because certain things you you don't get to control when i mean i think a lot of things you don't get to control i mean i don't know that there's anything you get to control other than your values i mean that's the only thing that we've ever really the only thing you, like, i mean the only thing we about. control is the uh, the uh, space between uh what was it the uh, St stimulus st and response yes exactly yeah, yeah. that's the only thing we can control in in some capacity not, not all of them but in some capacity other than that we can't control anything we can't control the genes we got and the gene we got make us who we are i mean go back to what we were saying before is the beaver must dam right if you are if you are made to a beaver, you're gonna wanna make a dam regardless of uh, you know how you are born. I mean, you, you just can't say, hey, I wanna be a wolf today. You can't do that, right? And if well, you're a writer- well, well, these these days, I don't know that that's not true. I feel like sometimes, <laughs> I feel like sometimes our-, our uh, But, you, and, but and, nature and, is gonna, and, it's gonna and, smack and, you in you know. the face yeah, right, right, right. and they say, no, right, right. you're a beaver, <laughs> go damn. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Probably, right. you 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 are you are identity confused <laughs> correct i mean i could walk around saying i'm a i'm a panda bear today you know and uh um and try to live like a panda bear but i have a weird feeling that it'll 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 turn out bad for me eventually you know? <laughs> um, exactly so like i said you can't control it you just have to accept i mean to be the most harmonious you have to accept who you are right and I think it begins with that, exploring yourself and what your values are and your identity, right? And accept that identity in order, for, in order for you to maximize the time and the things you do, the work that you do to make it the most enjoyable as possible. If you're a beaver and you're trying to be a wolf or you're trying to be, you know, you know some other animals, for example, you're trying to fly, right? It's going to be miserable. You're not going to be even able to... Uh, uh, you know, have even a, a uh, you know, a small percentage success of trying to fly like an eagle. It just, it's just not, I mean, it's just so difficult for you. So you're going to miss it all the time. But if you start to, to uh, you know, build a dam, you know, you know, hey, I have this waterproof coat or whatever, and I can swim and I can paddle and I, you know, I can do things much, much better and I can enjoy my, the work that I do. And so at the end of the day is you have to accept nature and try and try not to control anything. And the thing is, uh, you know, we're we going to have to also think about like 
looking at um, you know the balance, right? To to me, this book you know, kind of like um, you know resembles what we we mean when we say balance, right? Because too much is not good, and too little is not good either. So just imagine rain, right? What happens when you have so much rain? You know, you know, it's going to turn to flood, and you know, nothing will yeah. grow. It'll kill. Yeah, it'll kill everything. I mean, right? you know, it will, uh, it will wash it all away. Everything, yeah. wash everything away. Right? Nothing. Nothing can thrive in too much rain. On the opposite hand, if you have no rain or little rain, then, well, you have not enough water for the uh, vegetation to grow. The or, the be- or the beavers to dam, you know. Beavers uh, to dam, yeah. right? And there's no water. <laughs> so the thing, is, I mean, even from that take itself, you know, balance is important. And anyone who say balance is, you know, uh, it's it's bullshit. It's it's you know doesn't see it. Think about it. I mean, it's just about you know where do you fit in that matches your nature. And I mean, may- nature means what your what you uh, been given and. You know, just like I said, your your genetic makeup, your combinations and pattern, you and they make you who you are, and you have to know what you have for you to find the the right place in line in a chain in in whatever ecosystem that you want to be. You have to say, well, I'm this person, therefore I'm best fitted at this place at this location, right? And if you don't, then you're gonna have a miserable time. You're gonna have a miserable existence. And if, I mean, the thing is, you, if, if that's what you want, that's fine. But I, I don't, I mean, I doubt that's well, what you want it. I think this goes back to my original thought of all this stuff. And, and I mean, I'm, it's so important to always remind, you know, yourself, like that you don't really know anything, you know? I mean, and I, I know it sounds so annoying and pretentious to be like, look, I don't know anything. Like, I'm, but, but here's, you know, but, here, but here's, here's a thought, right? You know, like it, it's, it, it, it would annoy me to hear me say that I don't know anything um, as many times as I say it in, in, in it. But the truth is I do this to remind myself that like, I, you know, we're on this awesome journey together and we feel like we're making some sort of a progress towards somewhere, but honestly, we have no idea. Like, and, and I don't know. Right. I mean, I the thing is know no one knows holds, the right you know? answer. No one, right. one knows what exactly it is and what we're saying, but everybody has an opinion and an opinion cannot be wrong. That by nature, opinion is a hey, that's what I think. Sure. It, and can I be wrong? Because it's an opinion. It's not saying, hey, I'm stating a... Are you wrong? Yes, you're wrong. Like, I mean, like, but I, it's I an mean, opinion. A, right, a, right. Opinion, say, opinion says, like, there's not a factual evidence that everybody has to right. abide by. It's a hey, this is what I see. Whether I see it right or wrong, it's still my opinion. By nature of the definition of opinion, right. means that it is unique right you say hey that's that's what i see that's what i i i think and that's what how i understand it and so an opinion everybody has one which is which is fine i mean that's why we don't know we we have we want to admit that we don't know but we also have our opinion meaning opinion is up to this point up to what i know as far as what information i have this is what i think right this is what my brain is telling me i don't know if my brain is even calculating correctly or not or even i'm seeing the whole picture it doesn't matter but by the fact that i'm saying i'm setting my opinion that means that what i see right whether you see the same picture or not right that is to be that is to be explored that is to be discussed hey you know i see this why you see something different you know i want to i want to i want to get a glimpse of what you see and to me that's the nature of an opinion and i think that's that's fine that's fun fun, because you want yeah exactly you want to have that you don't want to have a person that has the same thinking as you do, it's boring. Because yeah. I, I thought of that. There's no need to talk to you. Agreed. Right? Um, I mean, I, I, it's a, this goes back to like, I feel like, I know I was joking around with like, what maybe what our, an idea of what our purpose is, but, but you, you, I mean, I do feel like it's to just keep trying shit and testing stuff out and figure it out. I mean, like, I, like, like you said, we don't know what we're doing and we're just doing stuff, you know? Um, and, uh, and who knows? Like, I mean, maybe, we make just a tiny little step forward in the evolution of, of, of humanity toward general knowledge or whatever that, that we can you know, help a better We basically explore become, all the options knows? that's possible, right? Uh, the option right. that is going to move humanity forward and thrive will actually continue. The one that doesn't, we either stop or we die off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yep, yep. Just, imagine, yeah. just imagine you have a, a tribe and you send 
everybody in every direction, right? If, yep. if, if the one that hits the, the desert, it's going to, you know, and can't survive, they're going to die off. Then there's no sediment over there, right? But the one that goes into the rainforest and they thrive because that's what is fitted for them or for the conditions of how they can, you know, thrive, then, you know, that's going to grow and that's where the concentrations of all the population is going to be. I mean, it's just that, just that, hey, every human is going to have their own exploration DNA where they're going to try things. Well, some of them, most of them, maybe going to be stupid, but some of them is going to be, uh, you know, very genius, very creative. Yep. And that's what makes human humanity uh, survive because, you know, the, the 0.001% that actually stumble on, upon something really wonderful that makes humanity what humanity is today. Right. Exactly. And so, yeah. so like I said, you know, we need, we, we need to obey uh, the laws of nature. Laws of nature is there because it's, it's the, the is the, the system or ecosystem of randomness. Right. right. And, you know, we, we, we personify mother nature, but mother nature doesn't really care about us. They, no. I mean, mother nature doesn't uh, really say, Hey, you know, I need to save this person. I'm going to send um, you know, rain, rain to this area. area. Yeah. I don't care. Say, so, hey, you know, the wind so goes go this direction. Picture. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna pour. And so you right. guys gotta move, all right? Uh, in, 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 you know, in my experience, and in my opinion, you know, obviously everything anyone says is an opinion. Um, my opinion is Mother Nature isn't on your side. Probably right? not. I mean, I mean, I you know. talk about heat how and could cold. It? How, you know, how could it be? Right. And so, so we, we as, a, as a species are surviving because we are adapting, we are adjusting to it and we are able to, you know, compensate, let's say for the heat, right? We have, uh, we invented uh, AC because- And sweat, and, and sweating. And sweat, right? Yeah. And, 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 and you know, the yeah. hunting and all that, right, right, and yeah. the eyes and all that. So we adapt. That's why we survive. And human nature, and mother nature isn't to, hey, oh, you know, I'm, I'm this benevolent God that's going to, save these people because they're, they're, you know, they're nice and these people are evil. And like that. I, mean, that, I mean, we personify, but you know, it's not, it's not like that in, in, in real life, right? right. And so uh, for us, you know, we need to understand ourselves and understand what our environments are and try to optimize where we should be in that ecosystem, in that environment for you to enjoy the maximum um, joy out of the things that you do. Right. And so go back to the core of uh, the mission of Clubbany is, you know, you got to find your core values, find out who you are and find the, find the things that you do that's meaningful to you and the balance that you have to create to maximize that and have the maximum joy and then minimize the regret and the despair of whatever lifespan that you have. Right. I mean, the thing is, I think most people want that. I mean, if, yeah, there could be some people that are exception that, hey, I want to suffer pain and anguish and all that. Well, I mean, they could be, but majority of people, I think, you know, like I say, you know, at the same time, it's my opinion too, uh, that people want to have the maximum joy of what they do, how they exist and what they contribute to whatever is born to them. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, like that's the only, that's the only that's the only power you hold in this universe, right? Um, and uh, um, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing you can really do. And I mean, uh, it, uh, I think, I think for me, my final thoughts on this would be, this is just all about perspective, right? Like it's every single day, you're gonna be confronted with choices to make decisions and how you wanna act and how you don't wanna act. Um, uh, I don't know, sometimes the perspective ranges for me from, from look, you don't know anything and tomorrow's never promised and you know like you know doom and gloom kind of thing right like to like the you know to mother nature on the other end of the spectrum where there's like this beautiful harmony that's going on that we can't really see and understand like you know for me it's like trying to find some way to exist in between the middle of those two things where it's like you know enjoying the beauty of both ends of the spectrum and figuring out a path forward that uh that right. aligns to, to what i care about most maximizing of right. your maximizing your existence whatever right. that means to you and that depends on perspective and at the, you know we, we talked about this the other day is the only perspective that matters to you is your perspective the only perspective that matters to me is my perspective if i'm sick and in pain right i'm the one that's, is feeling the pain you don't 
regardless if you try to, you can't. Right. Right. Yeah. And so that's the thing is the only perspective that's important to you is your perspective. And likewise, you know, my perspective is important to me. And so that's why we, we each individually have to find out what it is that we value. It's going to be different from, from you and me. And some of them may overlap, but not all of them. Right. And, but at the same time, if you understand yourself and you know where you, uh, where you should belong, chances are when you're trying to be at the place where you need to be to have the maximum um, impact of the effects, whether that's feelings and, you know, um, experience or whatever it is you want to call it, right? Whatever that you want, it's going to give you the best time in existence. If you don't, then you just don't get it. And you're just going to struggle. I mean, just, just right. imagine, you know, me trying to play basketball. It's not going to be fun for me because I'm going to get, you know, dunked on and whatnot, right? Unless, unless challenging yourself is one of your core values, you know? Uh, that doesn't mean right. you're going to be good at it, but, uh, but it's a challenge. But, but it's a struggle. It's a struggle. <laughs> right. Right. Like I said, you know, if a beaver has the uh, waterproof, you know, pelt, right? They're going to have an advantage in water. Yeah. They can do the dam very the best. I mean, very well. Right. Right. Versus you know, maybe a, a fox yeah. or, or a possum <laughs> or a mouse or an eagle. Right. You just you just you're going to really struggle to do the thing that a beaver can. Right. So why are you trying to do things that you're not made to do? But how do you know what you're made to do until you you learn no, what's reflect too upon much to, your, what's not enough you know and then right? you find the find the find the balance find the center you know find the find your find your i guess happiness i don't know i mean, uh, some, I yeah. mean at the end of the day it's about finding yourself right right who are you are you what who are you chris right who are you true who are you mr beaver who are you mr fox <laughs> right <laughs> and so they each have to ask themselves that question Right. If they, if they, if he or she is a lion and he lives as a sheep, right, then it's it's gonna be difficult for him. He's gonna be outcast. He's gonna say, "Hey, you know, I'm an ugly sheep." It's just right. just that's just the way it is because the perspective is doesn't fit the the lens. Yep. Paradigms off. Uh, yeah. You gotta you gotta you gotta bring it. You gotta get it back into alignment. You know. Yeah. Um, and you know, take some cues from from good old Mother Nature, and uh, you know. And, uh, keep, yeah, so I really like the question you, you pose, right? What yeah. areas of life can you stop trying to control and start accepting the nature? I think the first thing is start to accept nature, right? Nature means you, everything around you, right? right? What yeah. you can control and what you cannot control. So I'm not saying don't do anything. I'm saying, hey, do things that you can control. You can change. Right. You can change the environment. You can change perspective. You can change the, between uh, the stimulus and response. You can decide what you want to do. You can't right? change the stimulus, and you, you know uh, you can't change the stimulus, right? right. You just can't. I mean, people are gonna do things, right? And you know you're gonna be pissed just because that's the way it is. It's either for you to even take in the stimulus. Yep. I uh, right? actually, I'll uh, I'll be uh, I'll I'll admit some fun stuff uh, from yesterday, really fast here. Talk about talk about humbling. Um, you know, after years and years and years of working on this stuff, ever since you know this whole journey began um last night uh don't don't freak out or anything i haven't told you this obviously but um uh luca we had to take him to the emergency room last night at around like um seven o'clock everything's fine like i mean okay. it was, okay. he, he was he was having some I was like, gonna freak out <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. No, he, he was having some weird like um i don't even know uh like how to describe it. it almost it almost looked like he was having like a tiny seizure um you know oh, really for, like, oh. a couple a couple times but I, I think he has like an earache and I think he was like trying to like pop his ear and it was like, but he was like freezing and he was like, well, not, like, like that, like, and he kept doing okay. it like, you know, over and over and it was freaking my wife out. So we called the doctor and they were like, well, you should probably bring him in for an evaluation. Mm -hmm. So we had like a neurologist, you know, look at him. And anyway, long story short, in that, knowing my background, knowing I've lost a child, knowing that, you know, I've spent six months of my life in a, in a, in a hospital in the past you know, two and a half years of my life, you know, mm -hmm. um, um, knowing all the work that we do to try to, you know, the, the stimulus and response and the space between you have the freedom to choose. I was still frustrated as hell last night. Like I was so frustrated. I was like, 
It's like the kid needs to go to sleep. We're just sitting in this room by ourselves. Like, you know, nobody's here. It took us like four hours to get in and out of here. I was like, this is such a, like, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, you know, talking about perspective, right? Like, I'm glad that he's safe and he's healthy. We had healthy. We had somewhere where we could go. Like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, my wife and I are there to support him. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like all these things like that, that I should have had, you know, we're, we're all, we're all, we're all, it's, this is, this is all still really hard, you know, like, right, I mean, I was, right. I was, I was frustrated beyond, you know, belief last night, you know, um, and, uh, um, you know, I was trying to, I was like, mother nature's effing with me right now, you know, it's like, it's like, I, we, we got to get to bed, we have, we, I, I got meaningful work to do in the morning, like, you know, oh, I have, uh, you know, other things to do, the kidneys to sleep, like, you know, health, and yeah, anyway, like, I mean, there's a million things that are going on in my mind, and it just made me pissed, I mean, I was just, I was just, I was just, furious you know yeah uh and you know made my made my wife feel pretty bad about it too because she started even calling me out of like you know my own book that i wrote you know where where um you know when when amelia when we went to the hospital the night the day of i told her it was indigestion and she shouldn't worry about it you know kind of thing and Mm. um, uh you know like and and you know that's fair i mean it is fair like i mean like what what i'm glad that he's okay and i'm glad that like you know, that we have the ability to go do these things. And, but, but it still doesn't change the fact that it, you know, it, it got under my skin for a hot minute, you know, and, uh, right. You gotta, you gotta take some time to reflect back on it and stuff, but, but to your, but to your point, this is, this isn't easy. I mean, like it's, it's, it's a, not, it's a, it's I mean, a we've been conditioned process, for that you know? for, yeah. for, for million years. And those are, right. those are more or less the, um, the system one response. You, you right. can't get rid of it. Right. But the thing is, because you have that perspective, you shorten it. Otherwise, right. it could be longer. Yeah, it could be. Right? But hell, but hell, I could probably be divorced after the way I was acting last night. <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah. kept it up. <laughs> yes. That's so, like, so the perspective the is room, going to minimize. Yeah. It's not going to get rid of it totally. I mean, because you're trying to buck, you know, million years of conditioning and in, in training. And so it's your, your automatic response. It's going to do that. Um, so, but I guess like sometimes, you know, the more you understand yourself, then you can lessen and minimize the impact of the things that comes to you. I mean, you can't control that. You didn't want right. that, but, but it just came. How do you deal with it? Right. Right. And yep. so you can't control anything other than what do you, how do you react to the input that comes your way? Yep. And, it's, and sometimes, and like I said, you, 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 don't, you can't avoid it a hundred percent. Oh, you, I mean, Ever. You just can't it's it's a it's a lifelong struggle i mean that's the fun of it right i mean it's the or not fun of it that's i don't the, know about the fun part yeah yeah that's the, it, that's it is the, what it is that that's the that's the that's the piece of the puzzle right that like you'll never you don't know the dynamics like you don't know what you're going to get thrown into it's it's always a test it's always a challenge you know life life will never let you ease up you know there's never right an and the thing road, is you know? when you say it's fun i can i can agree with that just because we are we have the ability to deal with it and so being able to deal with it makes you feel like you belong in that space whatever right. you want to call it right so because of that you, you say hey you know at least i able to i guess navigate or control that at some level you know maybe i can dodge it or whatever and be i you know very um you know agile in in trying to deal with it and, and that makes you say hey you know at least i have accomplished something because of the way that you've been built right yep. and that quote unquote could be quote unquote fun in 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 some extent in some uh vocabulary but you know at the same time you know it's not fun fun yeah right no no i <laughs> No, I would agree. Like last night was not fun, fun. Uh, but you know, in, in, in retrospect, I, I can at least extract some, some, some lessons out of it and some value mm-hmm. out of it. And we can talk about it here. And that's the whole point of this whole journey. So you're yeah. magical learning. So, uh, but anyway, I, um, uh, uh, I feel like, I, you know, any other final thoughts, I guess, from, from your end? No, not much. Like I said, I really like the questions and, uh, if you can accept nature, the, 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 the quicker you become more optimized and enjoying your existence couldn't agree more um so thanks for everyone for tuning in question we can leave you all with is is what areas of your life can you stop trying to control start accepting yeah. nature a little bit more and um yeah i'd love to get your thoughts and we'll uh, see you all tomorrow yeah and as always if you like uh, our podcast you know please hit the subscribe button the like button the bells and all that you know you know how youtube works so um with that we'll talk to you we will see you next time